CSCS Card Mock Test, PPE, 10 Questions Question 1. Using eye protection is vital for outside safety, when should you wear eye protection? A. Only when you're working with power tools. B. Only when you're working with hazardous chemicals. C. When the task has a potential for eye injury and if the sight rules demand it. D. Only when your eyes come into direct sunlight. Question 1 Answer C. When the task has a potential for eye injury and if the sight rules demand it. Question 2. Protective midsoles and your safety footwear are designed to A. Prevent you from twisting your ankle. B. Prevent chemical burns if you step on hazardous chemicals. C. Ensure your footwear remains comfortable throughout the day. D. Protect your feet from nails and other sharp objects. Question 2 Answer D. Protect your feet from nails and other sharp objects. Question 3. What should you do if you're given a task that requires you to wear a full body harness but you've never used one before? A. Carry on and try to work it out yourself. B. Ask a colleague who wears one for advice. C. Ask for an expert to train you. D. Ask for the instruction manual and figure it out yourself. Question 3 Answer C. Ask for an expert to train you. Question 4. Wearing a safety helmet in hot weather can be uncomfortable. Which of these is true about wearing a safety helmet in hot weather? A. You can drill small holes in your helmet to increase airflow and keep you cool. B. You can take it off for short periods of time while you're working. C. You must keep it on at all times and ensure you're wearing it correctly. D. You can wear it sideways if it's more comfortable this way. Question 4 Answer C. You must keep it on at all times and ensure you're wearing it correctly. Question 5. What should you do if you accidentally drop your safety helmet and crack it? A. Get another one immediately. B. Wait until your break and get another one. C. Carry on working if it's only a small crack. D. Wait until the end of your shift and get another one for the next day. Question 5 Answer A. Get another one immediately. Question 6. If your job role requires specific type of PPE when you need to pay for this? A. Yes, you'll need to pay a percentage of the total cost. B. No, your employer must provide all PPE necessary to carry out a job. C. Yes, everyone is responsible for providing their own PPE. D. Maybe, you might need to pay as PPE is provided at your employer's discretion. Question 6 Answer B. No, your employer must provide all PPE necessary to carry out a job. Question 7. What should you do if your safety footwear gets damaged while working? A. Try to fix it and carry on working. B. Throw it away and use your trainers. C. Keep using it until your next break and then replace it. D. Get a replacement immediately. Question 7 Answer D. Get a replacement immediately. Question 8. All of these statements are true about PPE except A. PPE must be worn in accordance with the instructions. B. You are responsible for providing your own PPE if the ones you're given is lost. C. Any damage to your PPE must be reported to your supervisor. D. You must ensure your PPE is stored correctly when you're not using it. Question 8 Answer B. You are responsible for providing your own PPE if the ones you're given is lost. Question 9. What should you do if the disposable ear plugs you're given keeps falling out of your ears? A. Throw them away. Continue working and get another pair at your next break. B. Take them out and continue working. C. Stop working until you get a pair that fits correctly. D. Secure it with some rolled up paper. Question 9 Answer. C. 
Stop working until you get a pair that fits correctly. Question 10. It's important for you to wear the correct type of gloves when dealing with hazardous substances. If you don't then you're like to succumb to A. Arthritis B. Vibration white finger C. Raynaud syndrome D. Skin disease Question 10 Answer D. Skin disease